research on uh, the ethnic medicine of menstruation rural Dominica. So herbal remedies are an integral aspect of rural Dominican life. Dominican ethnic medicine has been extensively researched for reproductive ethnic medicine remains underexplored. And this is mainly due to current research focusing on uniquely regarded diseases and illnesses. Traditionally, Dominicans don't medicalize reproduction. It's seen as a, an expected normal body state. Um, so pregnancy, uh, menopause, and menstruation are viewed as expected body states. They aren't sicknesses. They don't have cures uh, regardless of, or despite the varying degrees of bleeding discomfort and disability that women might experience. But Dominicans do recognize that there can be negative side effects, and they do have um, treatments to alleviate any of those symptoms. So these research, this research is relevant to folk and Western understandings of medicine and to the reproductive conditions that women experience universally. So we hypothesize that the most salient medicines are efficacious because uh, Dominican ethnic medicine recognizes them as effective and they contain what Western medicine defines as bioactive compounds. Uh, this is just a quick shot of the Caribbean. Okay, so uh, this research pl takes place on the Commonwealth of Dominica and the previous um, presentation did a really good explanation of the history of the island and um, its geographical features. Um, so the study site, Walmaigo, which is highlighted in that small red um, box, is a small horticultural village on the eastern side of the island. Um, it's about an hour's drive from the capital, Roselle, and it has about or 500 inhabitants, but this can fluctuate depending on migration for work. Uh, Dominicans uh, maintain subsistence gardens on village borders, and they maintain small house gardens, which produce uh, small herbs for cooking, medicines, and just uh, flowers for uh, decoration. Medicinal plants grow throughout the village um, on roadsides and personal gardens and out in the rainforest, which they call the bush. Um, bush medicine is the traditional ethnomedical system in Wamaiko. It's based on local, local herbal pharmacopoeia. Uh, do, uh, bush doctors don't exist in Guamaygo. The village is too small for that kind of specialization. But there are individuals that are regarded as knowing plenty bush. This means that they are lay experts. They have above average knowledge um, about medicinal plants and they tend to act as consultants for their friends and families. Um, uh, bush medicine um, is relatively simple um, in terms of its preparation. Uh, it usually incorporates only one herbal ingredient and sets or it um, targets certain ailments to elite. Um, if bush medicine isn't effective, Dominicans will seek biomedic, uh, biomedical treatment, but access to Western healthcare uh, can be inconvenient due to monetary and geographical features. Anderson states that in a culture's environmental knowledge is scientific because people acquire it in, um, empirically through observation and natural experimentation. He notes that uh, local ethnoscientific knowledge makes sense, it reflects the practices of daily living, and it tends to be correct by international bioscientific standards. Edkin states that efficacy is culturally constructed and varies among different populations, therefore treatments find their power in cultural consensus. Our research focuses on cultural domains and seeks to understand their place within the Dominican ethnomedical system. Um, cultural domains are clusters of like items uh, which individuals uh, recognize as a kind. Um, and similarity is the backbone of the domain, meaning that items that are deemed more similar lump together. Uh, so bush medicine is a shared pool of information and individuals um, uh, levels of competency vary by the individual. So the more an informant's um, responses agree with the responses of other informants, <coughs> the culture indicates that they have some basic cultural knowledge within that domain. Uh, domains are really great because they provide us with the unique perspective and they give us insight into the motives of behavior um, within a given culture. So data for this uh, research came from two fieldwork seasons, one that spanned from July to August 2007 and one that spanned from May to June 2013. Um, both, during both field seasons, we conducted participant observation, um, which provided us um, with qualitative information about the Dominican way of life and the beliefs and behaviors regarding menstruation. Uh, within that context, we were able to conduct informal interviews. Uh, during the 2007 season, Dr. Clemmer conducted focus groups among two stratified groups of 10 women. These women got together and discussed the uh, conditions that only women experience and ones that are treated with bush medicine. Um, so of those pro or of those uh, domains that were created from those conditions, uh, menstrual problems was one, and this included period pain, the need to make period come, and bleeding too much. So during the 2013 field season, I went back to Dominica and I conducted free list interviews to uncover the most salient bush remedies for those three conditions. Um, 
54 individuals, uh, which were broken down to 27 women and 27 men, ages 18 and over, uh, were asked which bush medicines were, were used to treat period pain, the need to make period come, and bleeding too much. Um, from there, we were able to identify the most salient bush remedies. Um, we also conducted key consultant interviews with 10 um, individuals. Uh, these people were deemed to know plenty bush by their peers. Um, and consultants were asked about their, the ethnophysiological beliefs and conditions while migrants treat uh, with bush medicine. Um, we also discussed the human qualities um, of reproductive conditions and the treatments that uh, were discussed. We conducted a literature review to discover the bioactive compounds um, and the most salient remedies, and to identify cross-cultural studies of women's reproductive medicine. So Dominican medicine, much like the medical systems in the New World, incorporates hot cold humoral theory. Um, so this is just the basis, or based on the balancing of humors, um, or opposing forces. In this case, it'd be hot cold, and you can even have a neutral uh, category. So Dominicans compare the body to meat and gravy. So the, the human body is like meat, um, and its fluids represent the gravy. So just as meat and gravy are hard or softened, or hard or softened, cooling and healing, so too is the body and the blood. Um, so with this, you can think of the organs, the muscles, um, the organs, and muscles, and all the connective tissues as uh, the meat, while um, any of the fluids that women or the individuals might possess um, are the gravy. So menstruation is um, a hot condition. So while menstruating, a woman's body is actually out of balance, um, and she's susceptible to illness, so she has to be careful um, during this time not to be exposed to too much cold or too much hot, because either of them can shock her system and can lead her to more serious illnesses um, should that happen. There are no overt menstrual taboos in Dom or well in Guamigo, um, and women are able to carry on their daily activities. Um, in Bush medicine, for menstruation is not sex-specific knowledge. So period pain um, is any form of pain associated with menstruation. Um, it consists of dull, throbbing abdominal pains, which uh, the locals call gripes. Uh, in uh, biomedicine, we call this uh, dysmenorrhea. So some women will experience headaches, they can be nauseous, they might vomit, um, and they might even get diarrhea from this. Um, women experience uh, period pain from um, the introduction of cold um, in her body, so her blood might become Cold. This can happen from uh, cold temperatures, even too many cold foods, um, and having cold emotions. Um, and so when this happens to a woman, her menstrual blood um, thickens, her uterus is uh, said to become a little bit stiff, and it makes it harder for the body to evacuate any of her menstrual blood. Um, and so the need to make period come um, is pretty painful for a female, um, and it's any kind of skip or delay in the period. Um, Biomedicine just terms this as delayed menses, um, but this is not the same thing as being pregnant. So um, the lack of a period due to a pregnancy is considered um, healthy um, in Dominica, but if you're not pregnant and your period is not coming, that means that there is some kind of imbalance going on. Your body is um, probably allowing too much cold to come into your body. So just with the period pain um, where the uterus was hardened and the menstrual blood was thick, and the, the blood is still able to flow, but when you have um, delayed menses, there is a complete cyst. Your, your uterus is extremely cold and your blood has congealed too much uh, to allow any um, um, evacuation to happen. Um, and so we also know that the treatment for the need to make period come is not the same thing as an abortifacient. Uh, Guamigans have their own abortifacients and the ones that are used to make a period come are not the same. <clears throat> so bleeding too much is a condition in which a woman experiences extremely high blood flow. Um, uh, biomedicine calls this menorrhagia, um, and it, the interesting thing about this condition is that it doesn't have any kind of ethnophysiological um, explanations. Dominicans actually say that it's caused by um, uterine fibroids or cysts, and they're saying that uh, modern contraceptives are the cause of this. Um, fibroids and cysts are becoming more common in Guamigo, um, and so it's becoming kind of a growing problem for them. So this is um, a neutral condition, um, and we know this because uh, bleeding too much is categorized by menstrual clots. The clots are congealed blood, which um, is caused by a cold entering a woman's body. So there's this extreme cold coming in that is counteracting the already hot balance of menstruation. And so you might think that a neutral state 
would be healthier for a woman, but while she's menstruating, she's supposed to be warm, so a neutral state is actually pretty detrimental to her health. Okay, so these, this is just a quick view of the uh, salient herbal remedies for uh, these three conditions. Okay, so um, mentha swabiolans, which they call the mont blanc, is, um, we call it apple mint. It's a member of the mint family, and it um, is a hot plant. It's said to warm the woman's body. It's able to melt the cold that might be causing any kind of menstrual discomfort. Um, the leaves are infused into a bush tea, um, and this, this mint species has analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties, and the menthol on the plant acts as an anti-spasmodic and a muscle relaxer. Venta racemosa is um, bay leaf, they call it Boiden. Uh, Boiden is a very, very powerful uh, plant. It's extremely hot. Um, like uh, the mint plant, it can melt any kind of cold into a woman's body. Uh, women who are menstruating need to be very careful when they drink this because if you drink too much Boiden, it can uh, promote excess bleeding, which um, is pretty harmful for women because then she's overheating. So this plant actually has um, analgesic and anti-inflammatory compounds also. A cinnamon vera, uh, they call it canal or, or spice in English. Um, we know it is a species of cinnamon. Uh, this is also a hot bush, um, and it's able to rid the body of any excess cold that might be uh, disrupting menstruation. Uh, it's uh, decocted into a bush tea, and it contains, so all the cinnamons contain coumarins, which are um, anticoagulants. And the spice actually has, um, also has analgesic and anti So Sphagnum Polytrilobata, they call it Marley Bowl. Um, this was the only salient plant for um, all four, well, it was the only salient plant that treated all four conditions. It's the only salient plant for bleeding too much. Um, it's consumed as infusion, and it's described to be very hot and more powerful than um, the bay leaf. So it's able to melt that extreme cold that is causing the menstrual clots, and it, with the idea that it'll, um, once the menstrual clots are melted, a woman can resume her menstruation normally. Um, this plant contains anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties, and it also has uh, compounds that contribute to wound healing. So in conclusion, um, all the plants uh, follow the human oil theory as outlined by Dominique and Ethel Medicine, but maybe human oil theory is not the only explanation here. Pharmacological analyses show that all four plants have analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties, um, and some of the plants uh, offer additional uh, relief through bioactive compounds such as the um, anti-coagulant activity from the cinnamon and the wound healing from the uh, mallee bulb. Uh, uh, these attributes could indicate why these plants are the most salient remedies for menstrual conditions, um, and thus our hypotheses are supportive. The most salient, thus most effective plants are those that contain pain relieving and anti-inflammatory properties, and in some cases they contain um, benefits or additional benefits for uh, the menstrual problems.